hello guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video i will be sharing with you all how i made this delicious nigerian data owo soup it is mostly eaten by the deltans in nigeria though the benis have their own style of making it too no wedding is complete without owo and stash so if you want to see how i made this owo soup and stash keep on washing so guys this is what i'll be needing for my owo soup here i have some blended crayfish here i have some smoked fish or dry fish whatever you call it here i have my stock cube here i have my grinded pepper here i have my sauce here i have my red oil slash palm oil here i have some smoked shrimps or prawns shrimps yeah here I have my stash. Yes, this stash is whitish in nature, it's for thickening the owo soup. It's used as a thickener. And here I have my potash called the native salt. This is how the potash slash native salt looks like. So here is the meat I'll be using. I have here some cow skin and beef, just a little because definitely making a little just for me alone. I eat this alone. So my meat was seasoned and has been pa boiling for about 40 minutes. So now I'm just going to go in with my dry grinded pepper. Next is my grinded crayfish. Next is my stock cube. I'll be using half because I already used full one to pa boil the meat. So next, I'm going to go in with my washed dried shrimps. Next is my smoked fish. I soak them in hot water, washed and shredded them. So next, I'm going to pour in some amount of red palm oil. So I will stir everything together and cover for the oil to cook with the other ingredients for at least another 5 to 7 minutes. So after boiling for about 5 minutes, I'm going to go in with my potash na, the native salt. We also call it a calm. You can decide to blend yours as in match it to a smooth paste or just put it like that. It will always melt. Be careful not to put too much. It might spoil the taste of your ovo soup. Now stir together. If you notice, it is the potash that is making the soup foam up like this. Adding salt to taste. Be careful because the potash, which is the native salt, is salty. Next, I'm going to prepare the thickener I told you about with the dried stash. Some people use curry. You soak the curry in water just the way I'm going to be soaking the stash in water and stir. Then you pour it in your soup as a thickener. Mix this stash and water together to a smooth paste. Now pour it into your boiling soup like this. Depend on how thick you want your soup to be, be mindful of the amount you pour in. As for me, I don't like my oil soup too thick nor too light. So it has started thickening up. This is just the consistency I want, not too thick, not too light. So guys, after the thickener, leave to boil for at least 3 to 5 minutes and your ovo soup is done and ready to be served. So guys, our ovo soup is done and it was very tasty. This can be eaten with stash, eba, boiled yam, boiled plantain or whatever you want. So, I'm actually going to be eating mine with stash now. Let's go and make my stash. Though I struggle with that a lot, but let's go make it. So, I will be missing my dried stash in this bowl. Dried one is what we usually get in diaspora. So, I'm just going to mix it with some water. So I'm just going to pour the mixture in this pot, like this. Next, I'm going to put it on my gas and add on top tiny bit of red palm oil. Start stirring. 
Well, I think I'm going to change this pan. I always prefer the other pan. Let me use the other pan. Keep stirring until you notice I started getting lumps and stir harder to form a smooth paste. This is actually the tricky part. My stash has started getting its shape. This is it. I am not an expert, but I think I did well. So this is the end result. We have actually come to the end of this recipe. I do hope you find it helpful. Please, if you do, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next video.